So today's morning rant, Shakari Richardson. Shakari Richardson is known as the fastest woman on the planet currently in the 100 yard dash. She was the clear favorite to win that event and possibly set a new world record. Unfortunately, she violated the Olympics anti-doping law. She violated because she tests positive for THC in her system, which is what's found in marijuana. She took full accountability for her actions. I'm not condoning it. She, she herself isn't condoning it. Now, the problem I have with that is everybody is making excuses excuses and also trying to bring race into the picture. Basically, people are saying it's racist to test black athletes for weed or marijuana. That makes absolutely no sense to me. That would mean that it's only black athletes that smoke marijuana. Michael Phelps, he never tested positive for marijuana or THC. He lost a bulk of his endorsements. Shakira Richardson didn't lose none of her endorsements. So if we're gonna bring race into it and compare apples to apples, the white man got the worst of it. So today's morning rant, let's discuss Shakari Richardson. So for those who don't know, Shakari Richardson is known as the fastest woman on the planet currently in the 100 yard dash. Now everybody knows that the Olympics is less than a month from now. So with that said, she was the clear favorite to win that event and possibly set a new world record. Unfortunately, she violated the Olympics anti-doping law. And it, she didn't violate because of PEDs or steroids or anything like that. She violated because she tests positive for THC in her system, which is what's found in marijuana. Now, with that said, she took full accountability for her actions. And what happened was she was scheduled to do an interview. And as soon as the interview started, the person doing the interview told her that her biological mother passed away. And that news took a toll on her mental health, which she turned to weed or marijuana to self-medicate. Now, I'm not condoning it. She, she herself isn't condoning it. But a rule is a rule. She took full accountability for her actions. Now the problem I have with that is everybody is making excuses and also trying to bring race into the picture. I don't see how race plays into the picture. Basically, people are saying it's racist to test black athletes for weed or marijuana. That makes absolutely no sense to me. My views on that is pretty much coincide with the crime bill that Joe Biden passed. And I believe in 1994, I could be wrong, but I believe it was 1994. All blacks say that crime bill destroyed black families because it didn't put a lot of blacks, you know, behind bars, mass, course, mass incarceration. But nobody seems to talk about the damage that those drug dealers and drug pushers were doing to the black families in their communities. Because you can't tell me they was going to other cities or other areas and selling to different ethnicities. No, they were selling it right there to their own kind, destroying those black families. And not let's not even mention if they got into a beef over territories or money, 
all the stray bullets that hit innocent bystanders. Nobody talks about those, those aspects of destroying the black family. Once again, we're looking for a scapegoat for what we do to ourselves. And then when one comes up with a tool to try and clean it up, we bash it. People may have different opinions, but the show is called Matter of Opinion, and I'm giving my opinion. So, I always tell you viewers, if you guys disagree, come on the platform, let's debate about it, let's speak on it. All right, now that that's out the way. So, with that being said, with that being said, and that's my point of view, let's get back to the whole Shakari Richardson situation. There's no way that you're gonna tell me that race plays a role in it. And it's racist to test black athletes for marijuana. That would mean that it's only black athletes that smoke marijuana. And we clearly know that's not the case. Which brings me to my other point. I hear people is comparing her situation to Michael Phelps. And the two don't even compare. But let's compare the two. Shakari Richardson tested positive for THC. Michael Phelps didn't. What happened with Michael Phelps was six months after the Olympics, a picture surfaced of him at a party with a bong in his mouth. Now, I'm not going to dive into the backstory and everything like that, but a picture surfaced with him at a party with a bong in his mouth. Well, to his mouth or whatever. He never tested positive for marijuana or THC. Now, just so happens, the world, the world event that he was gonna compete in was in five months. So he got suspended for three months. So it was enough time for him to partake in the event. Now, Shakari Richardson is suspended for one month. The difference is the Olympics, well, the Olympics committee is the ones that suspended Carrie Richardson. Michael Phelps, it was the USA team that suspended him for the three months. So now with her suspension, she's most likely gonna miss the 100 yard dash and a couple of other meets and everything like that. And it depends on her team if they'll let her compete for at least the last event. On top of that, Michael Phelps lost a good boatload of his endorsements. Some people will say all. Pardon the music in the background, cars driving by. And as a side note, that system sounds terrible. Dump EQs is way off. But yeah, as I was saying, Michael Phelps, he lost a bulk of his endorsements. And one of his major ones, which was Kellogg's, Shakara Richardson didn't lose none of her endorsements. Nike is sticking beside her, riding with her. So if we're gonna bring race into it and compare apples to apples, if anything, the white man got the worst of it. So if anything, they was racist towards him. Number one, he didn't test positive 
for THC. And let's get something straight. The Olympics during the off season don't care if you smoke. It was the US team that suspended him. I just want to stress that it was the US team. And Michael Phelps lost his endorsement and she didn't. So how are we gonna bring race into it when the white counterpart got the worst, got the worst end of the stick? That's the problem, man. Whenever one of us do something, instead of holding the person accountable, we try and look for a scapegoat. We try and look for someone to pass the blame on. No, that was your choice. That was your decision. So that's on you. Start holding people accountable for the choices they make instead of deflecting. And by all means, I am not a perfect person. I have my flaws and all. There's things I've done that I'm not proud of. But hey, guess what? That was my fault, my decisions. I learned from them and it made me a better person. Unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way, but guess what? That's me holding myself accountable. So we need to start holding ourselves accountable. And like I always say, stop trying to bring race or the white man or somebody else into the equation for choices that we make or an individual make. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. I, want, I would love to hear it in the comment section. Those who it's their first time here, hey, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. I'll definitely appreciate it. And those who are subscribed, I appreciate it. You know, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do, but it's you guys that push me to keep the content going and put meaningful content that I hope, you know, you guys will look at things in a different dynamic. I'm Walls P, this matter of opinion, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of opinion.